Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, epic4gtouchroot.com um, So today I'm going to show you how to uh, get completely um, stock epic 4g touch root um, even with all your users data deleted and that way you can take it to sprint for a warranty or for that purpose it can just be completely stock so here's how to do it um, first put it into download mode sorry um, hold down the volume down and the power button together for about one two three four five six mm -hmm. Seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine seconds, and hit volume up, mm -hmm. and it'll say downloading, and connect it to your computer via a USB cable, and let's go to our computer, and go open up Odin. For those of you who root it using my methods, it's in your uh, Epic 4G Touch root folder, or I have links uh, for Odin um, in my video post or on my blog post. And start up Odin. And go download the uh, stock kernel off uh, ACS website. I have links where you can get that. And uh, hit PDA. Don't hit phone, but PDA. It's very important. And that file is called the ACS ACS EB30 stock kernel pull.tar. Select that, open, and hit start. And basically, it'll flash the stock kernel. Uh, but it won't erase root. So now you have a mm -hmm. uh, stock rooted phone. Mm -hmm. um, but for those of you mm -hmm. who want to get rid of all the super user and app uh, and mm -hmm. this super user and and rootedness, <laughs> sorry, I had too much. Maybe I didn't have too, enough coffee today. Uh, anyway, it will reboot, and once it reboots, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. um, so it reboot it. And we're gonna go erase uh, super user because I can still use um, set C apps like set CPU app as you can see it's working um, so I still have root um, so next what we're gonna do is make sure go to settings um, applications and development and make sure USB debugging is checked on connect it to your computer and by the way, you can also, if you're on Mac on uh, Mac or Linux, you can use Heimdall and flash this file instead of the rooting file. Um, you can follow the steps. It's on my site, epic4groot.com. All right. And then let's go to our computer and uh, download uh, adb.zip. And I put, unzip it, and put it somewhere in your hard drive. I like to put it in my C directory, the root directory. It's easy for me to access it. And then go open up a command prompt for Windows or terminal in Linux. Uh, for Windows, type cmd under start search. And you'll get a window like this. And you'll want to browse to the directory um, of the ADB. So using command cd, cd backslash. This is not a w, that's Korean font. but it, that's what they use for backslash th this character uh, and do adb or wherever you put it and uh, we're gonna do adb shell uh, for Linux or Mac it's uh, dot slash this way adb dash Linux or dash Mac depending on what you have it's in the same folder adb shell and do su alright and then we're gonna type rm space uh, slash system slash xbin slash su oh sorry you know what we gotta mount it first sorry we're gonna mount the system as uh, read and write so we can erase the super user and su files so type mount space minus o space rw comma uh, zoom in here and then type remount space minus t space y a f f s two space slash dev slash block slash mtd block three space dash system and enter. And if you don't get any errors, that means your systems enable for read and write. And then type rm space slash system slash 
uh, xbin slash su and then type rm slash system slash bin slash su and type uh, rm slash system slash um, app slash super user dot apk and we just removed uh, pretty much all the super user stuff so let's boot, reboot our phone and uh, oh you know what you can do also just go here and type uh, reboot and it will reboot that's better because um, the Samsung TouchWiz doesn't have restart thingy mm -hmm. and uh, let's go to mm -hmm. our phone and we'll double check that we have no more super user mm -hmm. um, so now you have it completely um, unrooted but now you gotta also the, one more step is that you gotta erase all the user data so I'll show you how to do that too so we're back mm -hmm. running out of battery you'll see that settings about phone it'll say uh, kernel is um, SPH D70 alright and go to applications you'll see I still have set CPU let me try to run it and it says uh, could not auto detect uh, it says root access not detected alright um, so and also my super user app is gone and now let's do the final touch um, hold down volume up um, and the power button and we're going to erase all our user data um, so be warned don't do it unless you're going to return it to sprint you can also back up using clockwork mod recovery so you can when you get a new phone you can restore it I have instructions on my blog and then let go and then go to data factory reset and this will erase all your uh, user data it won't erase the contents of your uh, internal storage and hit the home button and go down to yes delete all user data hit the home button and now you have a, a pretty much completely stock phone that you would get when you bought the phone um, just go make sure and hit the home button to reboot and just go just make sure you uh, erase you know or make a backup of the internal storage whatever data there and then take that out and then it's you know you can even format your internal storage and well, I don't know. Well, just erase the data you don't want. Uh, and then, you know, you have a completely stock, stock, no root um, Galaxy S2. Make sure you follow the steps I showed you because you don't want to try to go into ADB and then, uh, you know, after you do the, the delete user data because then you'll lose root and then you can't delete super user. So just follow the steps in this video and you'll have a completely 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 uh, stock um, phone so um, it should be coming up soon here some the first boot come, sometimes takes a while so so I'm back as you can see uh, if I try to go to the market uh, it says um, well it's still trying to connect to 3G just boot it up uh, See, I have all my stack stock apps, no uh, super user. Now it's asking me for Google account. My 3G is back up, it's still doing the media scanning. Um, but that's how you get a completely stock, unrooted phone. Um, and I'll have another video on how to get um, stock root for you know people um, to help people understand the process better. Uh, anyway, that's how you do it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, good luck getting your new phone, um, you know, and see y'all later.